Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Keto back with another After Effects tutorial for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys my top 15 personal shortcuts for After Effects that, you know, help me cut down on taking that extra time out to do it, the stuff the long way. And I get a lot of questions like how I edit so fast, especially like for my friends and stuff. And just using these shortcuts is gonna help your life out a lot. You ain't gonna have to be doing all that. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first shortcut that we're gonna start off with is actually the shortcut for trimming the clip the shortcut for trimming the clip is all in left bracket to trim anything from the left and to trim anything that's from the right all right bracket and it trims it directly to your time indicator i like using this because sometimes i don't want to have to control shift d and you know have to delete the clip it just takes too long when i can just you know what i'm saying it's stressed out like that and you just go bam you know what i'm saying or i come right here and i just you know what i'm saying go hey another useful shortcut that i use a lot i see a lot of um my friends or just like people that edit they like to drag the clip and stuff like to the time indicator when the clip be all the way over there or something like that instead of doing all that let's say the clip is all the way over there right and i want i wanted to drag it to the beginning of the uh, timeline right all I would have to do is left bracket and it literally brings it straight to my time indicator. Or if I wanted to drag it over here for some reason, like to the right, like all the way over to the right, I would just right bracket. Like literally this saves so much time instead of just like, you know, having to do all that and you know what I'm saying? I just, yes sir. And this is the shortcut for pre-composing and the shortcut for that is control shift c and it brings up the pre-compose box and you can just literally you know what i'm saying pick whichever um options that you're trying to do whatever it is you're trying to like pre-comp all right this next shortcut guys is for whenever you trying to center your text or just like or the clip it doesn't really matter that's it's just <laughs> mess this all the way up Let's say I want the text and the clip to be in the center of the screen. And like this little anchor point right here on my name, when I would try to scale, it only scales from the, the edge of my name, but I wanted to scale in the middle between the E and the D. To put the anchor point in the middle, the shortcut for that is Control Alt Home. And then to center it in the middle of the screen is Control Home. That's all you do. This the anchor point is already in the middle on this one, so I'm just press control home and it literally puts everything back to normal. So like literally I can't stress that enough how useful that is. Number five is apostrophe. The apostrophe brings up the grid and so you can see like how or where do you want to correctly center your text or your footage or anything of that nature. This is what I use a lot when you know I'm doing like people outros or really mainly text to be honest because i don't know i just like for my stuff to be centered and it irks my nerves <laughs> when it when it's not centered i would like because i'm a perfectionist all right number six number six uh this is the shortcut for adjustment layer um a lot of you guys might already know this but if you don't know how to make an adjustment layer you just press Control alt y and it pulls up a adjustment layer, you know, it can put cool little effects and stuff. And, you know, I'm not going to explain what it does, but yeah, I do that for like another video if you guys want me to do that. And if you ever want to create a solid, the quick way to do that is then how to go up here to layer and then new and then solid. Oh, there you go. <laughs> if you ain't trying to do all that, and it actually tells you the shortcuts up here, actually. So the, you, as you can see, it says control plus Y. So this literally what it is, control Y. And it pulls up the uh the solid box and you know you know what i'm saying choose your favorite color rose boy vibe you know what i'm saying hey, hey. number eight is your workspace bar or your workspace area whatever you want to call it workspace area workspace bar you know what i'm saying if you press b on your keyboard it brings the um the work area space directly to your time indicator and then in brings the back end of the uh workspace area directly to your um time indicator which is this and you able to do something like this you able to like play a specific part of the uh edit or music video whatever you're editing and this is very useful if you're just trying to like 
playback or edit and you trying to see like okay you know see what effects that you could like put or how does this flow and you ain't gotta just pre-render the whole thing you know what i'm saying you gotta do all that you can just just pre-render that same uh part of the edit or music video. like i said whatever you're doing all right number nine is to duplicate a layer um which is pretty easy um control d is literally is all you do if you want to sand <laughs> if you ever wanted to duplicate a layer i kind of went overboard right there but you get the concept with that if you ever um you know saying hey all right, number 10, if you ever like, you know, got like a lot of keyframes on your layer, you know what I'm saying? Let's say I did a scale, you know what I'm saying? Do a scale and then I had a position made up, you know what I'm saying? And then, hello, I'm just, yeet, I'm a look, yeet. And then I had a rotation over here. I had all this on at one time, but you know what I'm saying? I can only see like, you know, rotation. I can only see the scale, but I want to see all the keyframes. All you do, bro, is press U on your keyboard, the letter U. That's all you do. Can't you believe it? Can you believe it? Like, that's all you do. You see all the keyframes. And this is very useful, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of clean. Hello, hello. <laughs> but uh, this is very useful if, you know, you're trying to um, edit multiple keyframes and stuff at the same time all right for number 11 i'm gonna name off all the i'm we just gonna call it the layer shortcuts so all the layer functions i'm gonna uh, do all the shortcuts for number 11 for that so if you ever wanted to know the shortcut for scale just literally s on your keyboard if you ever wanted to learn the shortcut for position literally p on your keyboard not literally but <laughs> you get what i'm saying p on your keyboard it, uh, okay i'm gonna just shut up r on your keyboard for rotation and uh t for opacity don't ask me why it's t i don't know but that's that, that that's what it is and then you know what i'm saying now you just had a mass on here let's just oh god that's a terrible mass <laughs> but uh if you wanted to pull up the keyframes for m literally uh, press m on your keyboard one time and you get to see the mass you know so i'm putting on invert you know just black hole you know what I'm saying? Right, you know what I'm saying? but if you wanted to see all of it like, i, I want to mess with the feather i'm trying to get some feather going on just hit m on your keyboard twice and then it pops up and then you know what I'm saying got that nice fella you know what I'm saying hey hello hey knowledge I got knowledge I put a put a solid hello rose boy rose boy yes sir look you know what I'm saying hey instead of you having to go frame by frame like dragging it and stuff like this and you don't feel like you know doing it with your mouse you could do it with your keyboard as well if you just hold control and then the the arrows on your keyboard so the left arrow i mean the right arrow to to the right and then the left arrow you know to go to the left so this is useful you know what i'm saying you just trying to go fast and if you ever just want to go ahead and um add your edit to render queue you can literally just press Control m my guy can you believe it it's all you do Control m like look just because i've been spending so much time going up here to file export and then you know what i'm saying when i could just how long yes sir <laughs> hold up number 14 guys number 14 so um i'm basically going to show you all the uh i'm not saying all the shortcuts up here it's all the important ones that i use up here so like v is for the um, selection tool so you ought to just want to move the clip like say it's like i don't know on the pen tool and i wanted to go back to the uh selection tool so i can move it around i'm not trying to do a mask and stuff i could just press v on my keyboard and uh reposition it back into the um middle of the screen you know what i'm saying h is for the hand tool this is like the move the camera around and stuff and yeah this is very useful when you doing a rotor brush but i'm gonna get to that um, and I'm gonna just give you um, additional pointers on, you know, using this hand tool as well. Q is for the rectangle tool, like, you know, these up here. Q is for that, so if you ever wanted to get to um, the rectangle tool quickly, it's just literally key on your keyboard. G is for the pen tool. So if you ever wanted to get to the pen tool pretty quickly, uh, it's literally just G on your keyboard, do a little mask. Yeah, and if you ever wanted to get to the um the text fast, the shortcut for that is Control T, and you know what I'm saying you can just type up your text, 
And yeah, that's the shortcut for your text tool. The last one for 14 is Alt W. Alt W is for the Rotor Brush tool. Just the additional point I'm gonna get at. Um, when you're using the Rotor Brush tool, let's say like, okay, I'm trying to mask him out. Oh my God, wow, hello, yeah. Like I was saying, if you ever use the, uh, the Rotor Brush tool, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to do it like a mask and stuff. And you trying to like move around, like you doing, going all the way over here, pressing the hand tool so you can look around. Instead of doing all that, like you could still, you know what I'm saying, you could be zoomed in and stuff. If you just hold um, H on your keyboard, you can literally like drag on here and then take your hand off of it and it'll go back to the rotor brush tool. And yeah, you could just do that and just keep moving around. And this hobby masking so fast and stuff. Um, yeah, this is really useful. I thought you guys should um, know that too as well. So, yes, sir. Number 15. If you ever wanted to import a clip fast and you feel like going to file, import, and then file again, you know what I'm saying? You can just literally press control I on your keyboard and you can import another clip. Now, I'm going to do some uh, additional ones that comes to mind. Control Z. Control Z is like one of the most useful shortcuts that I feel like everybody should know. If you just didn't know if you wanted to undo something like let's just say i i didn't want the clip to be over there or i just like let's just say i messed up and i control shift d i could just press control z and then bring the clip back to normal it, it basically control z just br it brings back all your mistakes like it undoes all the mistakes that you've done or all the stuff that you don't want that you made a mistake and did um another one uh if you didn't know the shortcut for split the clip is control shift d so if you ever wanted to split the clip you can just do that if you ever wanted to know how to copy and paste like the shortcut for that it's literally control c and then control v the paste let's say i wanted to paste it over here well it's gonna paste on top but control v and then you know what i'm saying use the brackets see that's useful you just knowing these shortcuts and stuff but um i think that's gonna do it for today's video guys <laughs> let me know if you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if it helps you out um by giving a like on the video and just sharing it around tag me in some of y'all it is and just let me know if uh, these shortcuts like helps you out just a few more things guys i do also make music so if you want to check out your boy music link but down below in the comment section yeah, I, I, yeah you, your favorite song of mine might be in your playlist but you just you just didn't know it was me you didn't know it was me you know check your boy out but uh all i said uh, i do have another thing too as well i got revised studios if you ever wanted something edited or you know something made for you link down below and prices to all those prices and stuff down below as well in the description so without that being said that's all for me guys i'm gonna catch y'all my next video because I am, i'm not gonna lie this next video is it's, it's gonna be something different so and i'm excited to do it as well myself so definitely turn on post notifications hey we out rose game